standard. He is president of the Poor People's Party. My guest, ladies and gentlemen, is Alex Muliokela. President Muliokela, allow me to welcome you to this very special edition of the assignment program in the year 2021. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, viewers. We're looking at a very important topic that borders on national interest, and we're asking why should the Zambian people on the 12th of August 2021 put Muliokela as president of the republic uh, for the next five years? Now, the big question that we want to interrogate on this platform tonight is why should people of Zambia entrust you with the responsibility to run the affairs of this country for the next five years? Why, President Muliokela? The reason is very simple. As soon as they vote for me on uh, the next tw uh, 12th August, which is very near, as soon as they vote for me, within September, I'll have the first Zambia National Council, where I'll table everybody, all stakeholders, all limited companies, uh, right now, I've already prepared the documents. I want to register all the village headmen, section chairmen, and the road section minister, village ministers, up to nation, national, international ministers. I need them to re be registered with me. They will have a very big job. I want to ensure that Zambia, Zambians, all Zambians are coming out of poverty. This is my promise. Poverty will be no more to this country. That's my fight. Because Zambia is a rich country. I want to prove to the whole, not only Zambians, but the whole entire world, that this country is a rich country. I will not borrow money from any country. Because my Bible, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, says that if you follow the command of God, you will never borrow. You will be lending. <laughs> so Zambia will be lending. And I'll give a very good example. Zambia is a rich country. I'll prove to the world I'll never borrow money from any country. That is my promise. Within September, I'll make my strategy. And then the whole people, the whole people in Zambia and the world in particular, will prove that this country <coughs> is a rich country. I'm a poor man myself, but the country is a rich country. Because the Bible, if you go to the Bible for you Bible scholars, you prove with me that God describes Zambia as Havila, to the place of God. It has got all the natural riches <coughs> in this country. And I want to prove to the world that this country is a rich country. Therefore, the Zambian, all Zambian, if your father is a rich man, you don't deserve to live in poverty, you have to come out of poverty. Our God, who art in heaven, is a rich man. We don't deserve to live in poverty. We are supposed to live like a prince and a princess. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to prove to the world, how rich Zambia is in terms of natural resources. How rich Zambia is in terms of natural resources. Really, before we can dive <clears throat> deep into some of the strategies that you have to alleviate, to alleviate poverty, some of the strategies you have to ensure that, because you spoke about the fact that you will borrow no more as a country, the no. strategies you have to ensure that we make as much resources. But let's get to understand, as we build up to the, to the elections on the 12th of August, how prepared are you as Poor People's Party in terms of getting all the documentation in place? Because we did hear that, uh, you know, you needed to ensure that you, you certify your grade 12. You need to ensure that you conduct your intra-party elections before uh, you participate in an election. Where are we in terms of the Poor, poor, poor People's Party in terms of our preparation for the 12th of August? Preparations. For, for, the, for, for the election, I have already put. One, the election that they are talking about, that one, I'm not prepared for that. Because I don't need it. In a, uh, we will go to court if <coughs> you are fighting with your brother or your wife or anyone else. Then you can go to court. There's no way you can go to court 
without you mean the convention you mean going to court without uh, a plaintiff it doesn't make sense you mean the sense. convention you mean the convention that's the convention convention is like a court if you have a fight with among your, within your internally is when you go to court convention is an internal fight between each political party if you within the party some they are fighting for positions i want to be that i want to be they even uh, you know point fingers to each other so that's how that fight can only be ended by going to convention. So if someone dictated to do that, that is like a dictatorship type of what we can. My party constitution, I have my party constitution. We know how we are going to put the, the words. The strategy of convention, especially, I don't talk about other political parties, mm. but my party. Once I form the government, is when now we shall be going for convention because by then we shall have section councils. As for now, we don't have section councils. I'm only, according to the law, I have no money to pay for section uh, branches, whatever, to the resource society. Right now, I have to even say to the areas, for my branch, which I've managed, national uh, executive branch, that's what I'm managing, which is on the register of the resource society, because there's a law of returns there. So now, my constitution constitutes the, con the, the convention we will have section leaders, section representatives, who are, I'm registering now, who will be section ministers, branch ministers, uh, ward ministers, uh, constituency ministers, <coughs> district ministers, provincial ministers, then national ministers. Then it will also include the private sector, the associations, two representatives from all associations, from all clubs, from all companies. But, but, but my question, then my together, question, President well, Uyoke, we was... have that convention. <coughs> well, so mm. meanwhile, we don't have, we are not fighting. In short, I not even disclose that we are not fighting within the party. They're not fighting within There's the no fight. party. Every, only outside, who are just talking about what they call me doing in my base. Those are, I don't call them. They're yeah, but, but in terms of, uh, have you already appointed who the vice president and you know? Yes, uh, I have the vice. Of course, president. because you need you need a running mate. Yes, as you got into I the have election. the vice president. I have the running mate. The running mate will be a woman. This time, we is, is it a trend? But I think we, we we've seen that. Uh, yes, of course, the patriotic front, you know, uh, established a, a very good trend. Pointed in Nonga win as vice president. Yes, uh, we, we, we've seen you know uh, uh, the Democratic Party appoint Judith Kabemba as vice president. Uh, we've seen the National Democratic Congress of Chimbakam will appoint Savoy Imboil as vice president. And Poor People's Party wants to appoint a woman again. A woman as yes, vice I'll president. I'll mention the name later. Is it, um, I, I, are you following, is, is it a fashionable trend that you political players in Zambia are following? Or perhaps you've realized the importance of women in national politics? We, we indeed the, uh, realize the importance, especially myself, I don't want to talk about others, but I, some people, they usually say, some, I always support Rungu. I don't support Rungu where he's wrong, but where he's right, I always support him. Because he, I'm a trainer of trainer in political partnership. I don't need to condemn someone where he's right. Where he's wrong, then I say something wrong. But as for the running mate, I, I even got a very good example to President Rungu. Eh, for appointing a woman as, a, as his running mate and his vice president. That's very, very good strategy. I, I like and admire that strategy. I yeah. also went for it. But, but, but would, you, would you mind disclosing to, fact, us, to the I people of Zambia? I desired from that. And when I consulted the Bible, that is very, very good strategy because God said that uh, he made man. But then after again, he realized a man cannot live alone. That's it's supposed a woman. to be a woman. I find it very, very sensitive. So your inspiration yes. behind is, is, is from President Edgar Lungu? You are right. Would you mind disclosing to us who this particular running mate is? Because I think there are a lot of rumors that are around uh, President Muriokela of who others are suggesting that probably it could be your first lady, uh, you know. You're a senior. Well, uh, you, you can disclose to us who will be running mate for Poor People's Party. Uh, 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 my running mate, I don't want to disclose my running mate at the moment because there's a problem that I have, I have four whom I think I have managed to have four so that if he, the other one will disappoint me, then maybe the other one may not disappoint me so that I go together with, the, with her. 
Uh, in the case of uh, Dora Sria, Dora Sria on the platform, everybody knows that she's my wife. But now, I've given her very much time for her to work with President Rungu. I'm remaining for President Rungu to dissolve Parliament on 14th May. May. As soon as Parliament has been dissolving, the way I'll prove where Dora Sria belongs. If Dora Sria really wants me, really loves me, he, she will prove that she loves me. Then I will know what, what decision to make. I love Dora Sria. Let me give this to the whole entire world. I love her so much. I really love her so much. And the, my love to her is not only because she's beautiful, because of what. No, no, no. There are so many beautiful girls there. Mm. But I love her because of her intelligence. There's something I see there inside. If she can be with me for the government to run the state of this country, she can be very, very important to me. We can develop together this country. However, I cannot force her. I will write a letter very soon. I will give it to her. But, I want her to make a decision on 14th after dissolving parliament. If she wants to be on my side, then she will directly come to me so that we campaign together. I do know for a fact that but if this is... I, I know for a PM, fact. I know, I, are there, I'm very sorry, I will no longer be with yeah, her. I will look for another person. Of course. Who will even my, be my first lady? I know for a fact that this is not a love platform, but um, you claim that Honorable Doris Lear, Minister responsible for information and broadcasting, is your first lady. How will you manage to convince the people of Zambia to vote for Poor People's Party if you fail to convince Honorable Minister responsible for information and broadcasting who you claim that is your wife, how will you manage to convince the people of Zambia that vote for Alex Muliokel as your president if you failed to convince her to join the party and be running mate for poor people's party ahead of the elections? The people of Zambia, wherever they are, in the, uh, the world in particular, they know the law, the law of privacy. She has got her own privacy and she has got her own decision. That's why I want to give her her own final decision. It is the decision is with her. I gave you a chance to, proceed, to continue with PF. But now, as soon as parliament has been dissolved, I, I want to give her, to challenge her now. If she, may I love her with all my heart. That's why I allowed her to proceed, to continue. But now, I want her to make a decision, to find out if she loves me. It's a question of love. Marriage is about love. And uh, in addition to love, even if I love, I pretend, I tell people I love Dora Syria, I do what? If Dora Syria herself, she doesn't love me, then where am I? I'm just wasting my time. So everything is now in her, within her to decide if she loves me and also loves the people of Zambia. Then she will come to me so that together we develop this, we remove poverty from the people. My fight is to remove poverty. I want poverty to come out from the people. And you believe that... But the, if... Uh, and, 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 and you believe strongly... Want, you, she still wants to continue... Well, you, be, you believe strongly that... I cannot force her. Do you believe strongly that, you know, uh, this poverty has been perpetrated, this poverty has been necessitated because of the patriotic front, according to you? Yes, it has been... It is there because of the patriotic front, because of MMD. At least the tried... But starting from MMD to the second party in the leadership, that's the people who are even... The PF have even added poverty more than the world itself. There's a lot of poverty within this country under PF. It was a bit better during Kaunda's government. You realize that when President Rungu, I heard him clearly when he was in parliament, he said that he, within his period he has managed to retrieve poverty from more than 500,000, if I, I'm not mistaken. But now look, am I cheating? It was, it was not that his way. You're right. Now, that 500,000 I had from him, Zambia constitutes 17 million, almost 18 million, according to uh, Central Statistic Office. But now, if we out of 12, uh, 17 million, he only managed to retrieve poverty from 500,000. What he, I don't think he has done anything. There's nothing, total nothing, nothing. I don't see anything. Be my fellow poor people are languishing. I'm fundraising with, with these roads. I see uh, people, with blind people, begging, moving around. 
And according to him, I'm hearing that I'm a, a, this, a basic a social caste transfer. And when I heard them describing some other social caste transfer on television, <coughs> they were talking about 100 quarters being given out. Then what is the 100 quarters? For the family of 10, per month, one to set. How can that person help? Even if it, we take 100 quarters, we give you present room. For him to save it from one to set, can he use it? This is mockery. You give a Pamela to a family of 10. What do you do? What, what do you think you have done? It is a mockery to that people. It is a mockery. That's why the Bible says, even if you give me a lot of things without love, you are nothing. You have done nothing. That is Paul who wrote that word. Which is true, which is currently happening here. I'm hearing social caste transfer. Which is benefiting only a few individuals. Well, three quarters of my fellow poor people are living in poverty. More than 12 million in this country. So, for me, they have achieved, I'm hearing they say they have achieved. Someone asked me, Murekara, don't you see President Lungu has achieved? I say yes. Okay, we'll get to the achievements of the patriotic front later on. But with about 104 days to go before the general elections, we, we're seeing political parties panicking. Uh, to get into alliances with different political parties, especially the two main political parties, that is the Patriotic Front and the UPND. Many are joining these political parties to ensure that they make strong bonds and alliances ahead of the, the elections on the 12th of August. Is your party looking forward or planning to enter into an alliance with these two major giants, the Patriotic Front or the United Party for National Development? Are you having any plans uh, to you know, uh, join these two parties. Not that you are going to submit to them, but join forces with them so that, you know, you, you, the 12th of August is indeed for you. No, I will never join any political party. Al Alliance. My party constitutes 12 million people. Out of 17, they are only enjoying 5 million themselves, according to their achievements. <laughs> I have 12 million people who need my help to come out of poverty. So I don't want to be part and the parcel of people who will make me fail to provide my word to the people. I'm giving the word here to the Zambian and the world in particular that I will develop Zambia within my period. The poor people come out of poverty within my period. I want to achieve that word and I don't want to be disturbed by anyone who come with his manifesto? But realistically government. speaking, President Muliokela, number one, uh, you don't have any members of parliament in the house. For example, you don't have any councillors, you don't have any council chairpersons, you don't have any mayors. Uh, uh, and many political analysts have suggested that this particular election on the 12th of August is between the Greens and the Reds. Where is the poor, you know, poor people's party, you know, for, for you know? get into to, to fall in place because many suggest that you know these elections will be about the pf and the upn i'm sorry to to state to you that even the last particular time uh, i was on the platform though i were, i did not have direct candidate on my party ticket because of the fees as i have said that president lungu and his patriotic friend made the poor people miserable if you see any president who uh, uh, went to state house, President Rungu has made the poor people, we poor people, to live a more miserable life. To make our life too difficult. One, before he went to state house, the amount for nomination fee presidential was 20,000. He reduced it to 10,000. He went to state house. But after he went to state house, the following election, they rose the fee from uh, that 10,000 to 75,000 for presidential race. And they also rose the, uh, the nomination fee for members of parliament, including councillors, to their, to almost 1,000 whatever. And they made it too difficult again. The campaign program need money again. The poor people are questionable. They cannot come in. That's how he totally stopped us. Now, today, as I'm speaking, the nomination fee has gone to 95,000 presidential. While the councillors, they are now Kumawa 5, the MPs 10,000 minimum. 
some 15,000, according to the paper I have, which I got from the Electoral Commission. Can you see? Where can a poor man find that money? It was one way of stopping the poor people. That's why I'm still fighting that matter. If President Rungu and his government will not retrieve, I took the matter to uh, uh, human people's rights. They have never responded. They have never challenged. I'm really prepared. I sought by the director of legal aid. I have one in the high court. Can prepare the, 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 the judgment default. He failed. He cannot fight the judgment. <coughs> so I'm if, taking if, you if, to if, my instance. If, 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 if in 2016 you failed to contest the elections because of resources, I don't think you'd be on the ballot now when the, you know, the nomination fee has been you know, heightened up now. How are you going to find yourself on the ballot? Are you going to raise the 95,000 kwacha? I have been fundraising. I've already, I currently have 8,000. I'll manage within the next year, I'll manage the, the main one. However, I will not pay that money until proper judgment has come from International Court of Justice. Why I should pay that money? Because I don't want, I don't want to be taken for granted. I don't want. Enough is enough. The poor people are also part of this country, Zambia. As you see here, I'm from the, the Namatanda Royal Village. I'm not from a floating element. I can describe a king because the son of a, a king is also a, a king. But in my kingdom, I'm made to be a beggar. This is a very big insult on my side. And I'll fight this. President Rungu and his government, it is up to them to make a decision. Because they have promised the whole world they were visited, President Rungu was visited, and he promised <coughs> that he will make sure that the, the election of this country will now be free and fair. Election. Now the word free and fair. I don't know where President Rungu is a, he says he's a degree holder, is a diploma holder, is a certificate holder from come, uh, whatever grade 12 they're talking about. But the simple word, the dictionary, even no uh, grade 7 dictionary, it can explain the meaning of the word free. If the word free and the fair, the meaning of the word free, what does free mean? When you pay something, nomination fee of that nature, is, it, is that election free? I want him to make proper judgment. Let them go to a dictionary. And I want proper interpretation from the judges. If you're not Zambian, but international judges. This, because article number 21 of the General Assembly were not written by me. It was written by the people, the nations. But, but, but don't you think you'd be a bit unfair, President Muliokela, if you're going to throw all those shared on the back of President Lungu, because th the people that are mandated to look into these issues are the, is the Electoral Commission of Zambia. There's already, you know, bodies that are mandated to, to look into issues of elections. Why don't you petition the Electoral Commission of Zambia? Why don't you drag the Electoral Commission of Zambia to court as opposed to I President I have already Lungu? dragged them. I have done. That's what I'm saying. But why are you putting All President Lungu the papers were included. But, look, the Electoral Commission chairperson, <laughs> some time back I was even here, I requested President Rungu to fire him because, to me, he wants to create a problem to this country. Some countries are fighting. The reason why they are fighting is because of this nature of dictatorship. I requested President Rungu to fire that man and to put the right person so that things can go according to Article Number 21 of the General Assembly. What did he do? Up to now, the chairman of elections is still there in the office, creating these problems. Other chairman, the, 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 the one who signed my train of trade and conflict management was the Electoral Commission chairman. I have all the documents there on mediation. It includes the reason why countries are fighting. It includes such things, such measures of stopping other people. If you stop other people from filing nomination, what will happen to the country? You say great job. If someone has no great job but he has got money, he can go and hire criminals to start fighting. Don't take people for granted. Is that what you're planning to do? No, I'm not planning to do, but I'm giving an example. The reason why other countries are fighting is because of these things of stopping other people. Article number 21 says everybody is free to participate in the government of his or her own country. Free means free. Go to a dictionary. The word free does not include nomination fee. 
Once you put a fee, it is no longer free. It is a payment. So the election is no longer free. Fair! Where a president is flying with choppers, while the other candidate who has filed nomination is walking or no, footing. Is that fairness? The election is supposed to be fair, meaning if it is, they are flying, they are supposed to fly. All candidates. If they are walking, they should walk. All candidates. That is what we call fairness. But they all know they went to school. The words are clear. You can go to a dictionary to find out the meanings. Now, is that what they do? They are not doing that. They even say someone should go up to grade 12. Converting my, do my document to grade 12. When I'm, I have higher papers. That is a strategy of stopping other people. Mm. I know your phone is ringing, but if you're joining the conversation on the movie TV class, okay? Channel 1, the top star decoder, Channel 104. Hello. Uh, later on, you'll be able to come yes. through and uh, give us yes, your contributions sir. on the number that is scrolling on your screen. Uh, those that are joining the conversation from across uh, the continent of Africa, please, can you, you can use our me? social media platforms. Our handle is Ask uh, Movie TV. I do know for a fact that you, you answer in your call. And, uh, no, it's, it's I good. just hope it is there. I just ask you other question. May I am on the platform? Yeah, of course, yes, of course. Yes. Uh, probably maybe you can put your phone on silent so that... Uh, you know, we don't get this so d d disturbed a, a, as the program is going on now. So that's what I'm saying, that yeah. I need the, the government to go and sit, sit down. The conflict, according to what they trained me, train of train and nation, in national conflict management, including the reason why other countries are, fly, are fighting. Maybe Zambia we have peace. But if this dictatorship kind of government continue, there will be no peace. Because the, the so-called people who are being eliminated can also do what to, something. But if you allow them to file nomination without giving them what? And according to Article number 21, the, the Electoral Commission have got that power to call stakeholder meeting mm -hmm. and to make a decision, whatever decision. That's what we call to legislate. They can legislate like parliament. Can legislate, they can make law. They are also right to make those laws. But let me assure you, Public Order Act dictates that that law can only be law if it has been taken to referendum. There's no time when the electoral code of conduct, whatever they're deciding there, was taken to a referendum. That's where I'm, I'm winning. That's why they're failing me to respond. I'm winning the matter in the International Court of Justice. Because they have never held a referendum. According to the law, the Electoral Commission, even those stakeholders who hold those meetings, to, to, to divert fees, to give those fees, they have got a case to answer, including President Rungu himself, because he is the one who is supposed to control. Even the Electoral Commission chairman, whom he appointed, is failing to comply to the law. He was supposed to fire him and they hire somebody who can comply to that law, because he has got power to hire and to fire as a president of the Republic of Zambia, given to him under the Constitution of Zambia. But when he tolerates such people who want to create a war to this country, then he's part of that war. He's accepting. He's part of that. So that's what I'm looking at. It. But I have fundraising money. I will never pay that money to ECZ until I have the judgment. They have proved to me the meaning of the word free. They have proved to me the meaning of the word fair. That I will do within this period. I'm promising the Zambia. I'll allow you to pick your call. Just then we can fix a call and tell them that you're in the program so that uh, we run the program. Hello. Uh, please, I'm in the program. Can you forgive me, please? All right, thank you. So now, so, that is uh, but, 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 but we've limited time. I okay. think that the, 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 the time that you bought on space that you bought will be, you know, um, going what? Will, be, will be gone soon. And so we need to ensure that your money I, gets yes. the value, you know, in, in, the, in the shortest period the shortest of time that the, the, sure. the company has given us. Um, you claim that uh, you want to alleviate poverty in this country. Yes. All right. Um, one would wonder, and one would ask this very important question that, look, from the time the Patriotic Front came into power, the number of things that they've done, they have built schools, right? They have uh, opened up this country in terms of ensuring that they built communication towers, they've built roads. Uh, the, the Patriotic Front boasts of improving, you know, the infrastructure development of this country. They've built hospitals, 
they've increased meal allowances, you know, for, for loan schemes rather, uh, you know, for, for, for those uh, that, that are students. And someone would say, I think we are okay with the patriot. Oh, ask me. I say, that's why some they say I support Rongo, even though I don't. Uh, I support him when he, where he's right and where he's wrong, I do not support him. Here's the question of uh, the, the fly over bridge. I, I laughed when I heard that it would congest the <laughs> Zambian vehicles. It, I, it, I just laughed. The reason why I laughed is that, you know, that fly over bridge, you can go with your car there, but when you go, you go the side, you meet another, another uh, flat road again. You meet another, you join another. Then how do it decongest? <laughs> My dear friend, you know, it is a question of, in my government, let me tell you the difference. When I've been set so up... So there's everything wrong with the flyover bridges? The, everything like wrong with that, it just only creates a problem. When you fly there, you join the other group there. And then the other vehicle this side, the other vehicle that side, what will happen? Then you, you even create more problems there. So now, when I've been set out, what I'm going to do? We shall put up stair roads. The other vehicle are move, moving down. All cities, Rusaka city, starting from Rusaka, Kitwe, all this, we shall connect all the provincial centers with the upstair roads. The other roads down, the other road on top. The main buses, because in my government, I will create a revenue. The, those who are working, the minimum wage will be 10 million. So they will be able to have cars. There will be a lot of cars like what you see here. In my government, a lot of cars will be here in Zambia. People will buy cars. They will have money. All those who are not working in my government will be getting 2 million salary. If they are 10, it will be 10 times 2, they have 20 million. So even those families, if they want to put together their resources, they can buy a car. So there will be a lot of cars in this country. Therefore, my plan on strategy, which I've already put, there will be roads, down road and up, up roads, where you only, there's bigger cars like buses and the and the road is they will be on the flat road, the down road, ground road. Then these two small cars will be on top there. What we do, we build the whole street of Rusaka. Hmm? To the nearest uh, suburb or the district. Countrywide, that's in my job, my job. Then once we have done that, then the vehicles will now be moving. You just press a button, you go to the level of movement. This is the development project which I'll do. And of course, I'll print money to facilitate all that job. I'll create more jobs, more than 12 million, for road construction, bridge everywhere. Each road, we shall put down road, we shall put fish bond. The drainages will be fish bond. So that we have got fish to the people to eat. My government, there's nothing you are going to throw. My first diploma in stores management, IPS. I was trained that the scraps and the byproducts. You, you eat something, then you throw it. That what you throw can be taken to the industry and they produce something. For example, when you throw a bottle after drinking a uh, Fanta there, if you, that bottle is taken to the bottler, they will, make, they, will, they will use that bottle, they will give you money in exchange. If you throw a plastic... Mm. But, but let's talk about, you know... The, so the, all on, I want you, you know. to bring back the, the yeah, of course, of course. my government. Yeah, yeah. Then from there, I'll have my crops in the animal husbandry in each and every district. Of course. We shall have bumper harvest. Uh, President Muliokela, like, I, yes. I, I asked you about what is wrong. The Patriotic Front government has embarked on a robust infrastructure. This is what agenda. I'm explaining. Thank you so much. I'm coming. They've built hospitals. Yes, I'm coming They've to that. They've built schools. They've invested heavily in, in, in education. Exactly. I'm we had, coming. We had the problem of load shedding, but load shedding at your place is, is, is an issue of the past. Please, please, give me a chance. Let me come Explain. in. Let me come in. You know, we are talk I'm talking about over flyover bridge. That is my first topic, out of what you say. Mm. I said why and what is my plan over that. Of course. Why I think that is a waste of, share waste of money for those who uh, fly over bridge. Mm. It's a share waste of money. To me, according to my understanding and the knowledge. Okay. So I'll put it upstairs. Now let us come to schools and the hospitals. Of course. To me, those schools and the hospital, they are private institutions for the patriotic front. Because the beneficiary to those schools are themselves. 
And mean? they're not the people of Zambia. What do you mean, President? The reason is this. Taxpayers' money. Whatever you buy, this VAT, value added tax, which you go to the revenue. At the same time, on behalf of my fellow poor people, every day you are receiving the minister receiving donation from well-wishers, donors, on behalf of the poor people. And that is the money they use to construct that, that school, to construct that clinic. But now, when you go to that clinic, the doctor says, go and buy medicine. It is no longer a private. He likes even go to, he knows even the, the clinic where you can, the, the shop where you can buy that medicine. Because it is his own benefit. So the beneficiary are themselves. The Zambians have to pay for that fat institution. Your children have to pay school fees. Even the university students are languishing there. In my government, such things will not be there. In, according to article number 26 of the General Assembly, the, the law says that everybody, every, this word everybody, everyone, what does everyone mean? Go to your dictionary. Everyone should live a decent life. That is article number 25. Everyone should go to school free, free of charge. Only, uh, you know, high schools like master degree holder. Starting from grade one up to Bachelor of Science degree, the schools are supposed to be free, free, free. Only someone who go a postgraduate degree like master degree, PhD, is when he can pay because he's already a graduate. That's what the law says. But now, go to the ground. Students are paying. Those poor people are failing to take their children to school. This, the government school have been turned into a private school for President Rungu and his cabinet ministers. There are the people who are enjoying the resources. It is like you, if you build the structure of this building, you are the one who is enjoying receiving the money. As for the poor people, they have nothing in common to assess there. That's why my government will be different from President Rungu in the sense that I will provide two million salary to every Zambian who is not working. At the same you time, two thousand, two million. Two million. That's really the so-called two thousand in Irungu will be two million because I will remove all the uh, so to my coin which they, they printed. I will print proper denomination. So now we are going to make sure that the poor people are coming out of poverty. Education will be free. Grade one up to university. What I say, university means Bachelor of Science degree, Master of Science. Someone is already a graduate. He can now pay for his master. He can now pay for his PhD. That is his problem. So as for grade one up to university will be free. And then the University of Zambia will be extended to each and every constraints. That is my first move. Once I'm in the office. University of Zambia, Kanyama campus. University of Zambia, Matero campus. Each and every district uh, constraints. What I'm going to do is that uh, constraints level, all those who have got passes, from grade 12 or the GCE, wherever they went, will be accepted to constituents level uh, university. Of course. Then those who have got credit, they will go to district university, which will have district university. The, those who have got merit, they will go to provincial university. The so-called colleges will be now provincial un universities in Zambia. Then we are going to ensure that those who have got distinction they will maintain, they will come. For but me, that is your, your campus. Solution. That is my government. Uh, then from there, from in addition to but, that, yeah, just, 10 just million, you listen, but let just, me complete just, here. Just hold you there, 10 President million Mayoke. will be paid to students. Just hold you there, President University Mayoke. students for per me, month until they graduate. For me, it appears as if though you will do, you and you will undo everything yes. that the Patriotic Front yes. and subsequently the MMD have done yes. you and do everything you begin on a clean slate. A clean problem. But, but isn't the principle of government uh, upon, isn't it hinged on continuity? Where they've left, you build on from there and see where you can take Zambia. I have what, what would be the point of undoing everything that the current government has, ha you know, has spent money on? 
What would be the principle in you and doing literally even the good things that government has done? I'm not saying I'm what I'm doing. But I would do, I, would, I have my strategy. I'm talking about my strategy. I'm not talking about the buildings I've constructed. They would have constructed the same building. We should the same building. If you're, under this, you're saying you're going to build only, upstairs. For example, I asked yeah. you about the, you know, the bridges. You said, no, we're, we're going to build upstairs. Yes, I will you, will upstairs. you demolish yes. the flyover bridges? Look, when we build that upstairs for that road, the main road which has already been constructed by PF will remain there. We only put pillars to build it upstairs on top. That one still remains for the car to move. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. When we come to school, the school that has been built by PF and they use it by PF for children to pay school fees will no longer be a pay, the school fees will no longer be. What are abolishing school fees? How do I get my point? Of course I am. Grade one to grade two to university, there will be free education. They will no longer pay. Instead, they will be getting two million salary per month for them to buy facility for their life. Hmm. Uh, and the now, that's the, the difference I'm talking uh, about. Be before, before, that, before my, my, my thoughts I'm not talking about out. destroying the buildings. Of course, now, be, people have said. Only that, yeah. I'll put up stairs to accommodate. All right. I'll put up stairs. To accommodate them. To accommodate everybody. The structure will be upstairs. In the village, in this township, which I'll put upstairs. I'll start with the, uh, all the rural area, all the uh, shanty compound in Rusaka. Or in the other uh, uh, mm. district, mm. we shall start with central. But my question also is: we shall put up stairs we, we, we've, to accommodate we've, we've all we've all, This is my plan. We've heard the story. And it's different right? from uh, President uh, Rungu's. And plan. someone would say probably you've stolen the free education from Haga Inde Hichinima, president of the UPND, because he's the one that you know adamantly advocates for free education. But paramount, even the Socialist Party, ad, you know, advocates adamantly for free education. But paramount to that issue of free education is where will you get the money from to finance? this education system, well, will you get the money from for you to ensure that you pay the people that you say, even those that don't work will be getting 2,000 a month. Where would the money come from? President Mulyokin. Before I, I, I answer the, why, where I will get the money, I want to, to clear the point you said I got from Akaide on the plan of free education. Even Fred member speaks about free education. I, started, I formed my party in 1996, even in my uh, what which I forwarded. I said free education. I never said what. Him is the one who, who copied from my program. Me, it is free education and the free medication. Hakainde talks about, uh, if you ask him, he talks about uh, bazaars, which you create to, for people. That is his manifesto. He does not talk about free education. Bazaar is not free. When you get a bazaar, it means you have to pay back. And so from, from grade 1 to grade 12, you know, you'll have free education. That is bazaar. Now grade 1 to grade 12, what of university? Even university students are supposed to, be, to have that free. Education is free. Where is the money going to Only the master degree. Now, where is the money going to get? That's the answer that I should provide. Money will come from the resources of Zambia. My first point before I, we, we talk, I talk about my manifesto, I told the world that this country is a rich country. We have got gold and silver on the ground. It is described <coughs> as Habira. So I'll use the resources of this country. One, we shall have crops and animal husbandry in each and every district. In the Ministry of Agriculture, we shall employ more than 8 million in that industry. And we, you see, we shall have now bumper harvest countrywide. Then I'll have Zambia National Plant stores, which will be constructed countrywide, which will be like shop right you are seeing there. Mm. And then all the marketing in this church compound will be restructured. We shall construct them upstairs properly. Then we shall offer credit cards to all Zambians, including an unborn baby. Then everybody will be moving with a credit card. Oh. By so doing, we have captured. Yes. There's no, uh, what they call, some people they usually tell me, my Muriokera, you create uh, inflation. Because he's, he's very shallow in thinking. He don't know what inflation means. Countrywide, this country, I have a higher diploma of degree standard in economics and economics. You know, economics, we start with the home economics at your home. That's where economic where it starts. It's when you go to national and the international. That is the start of economics. So economics is how to eat, 
having fun in your home, in your school, wherever you go. When you don't have money, that is not economics. That is foolishness. Yes. My government will provide the facility. We shall print money. That's why right now I need the village headmen. I'm registering village headmen from now up to August 11. So that when I'm in power, I will use the village headmen to identify who is a Zambian and who is a foreigner. So that is the register they are keeping. They will send to my office. Mm. My office will send to the bank. The bank will prepare credit cards. Then we shall give credit cards to all Zambians, countrywide. Then they will now be getting whatever they need in our plant stores, which we shall construct. Mm. But, but Before just, that, just, just, we shall use yeah. the current stores. But just, just, just That's on, my government. Just there on unborn babies being given credit cards. Maybe elaborate more on, on why an unborn baby will have a credit card. According to Article Number Twenty Five of the General Assembly, the law says that everyone should live a decent life. All those who are not working should be given by the state funds. That's why cash transfer comes in, which will be that two million, two thousand. Yeah. Old currency. Then when we go to unborn baby, the 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 same law goes to on to say. Even children and the babies, either born in or out of wedlock, they are also required to benefit from that social cash transfer. Therefore, that unborn baby, who is, whose mother is a Zambian, you know, when they mean uh, out of wedlock, out of wedlock means you get married to a white man. That woman is not a Zambian, but you are a Zambian. So the child you have with that woman should also benefit. Hmm. That is out of wedlock. Even those people, they are also benefiting. Hmm. So according to the, to the law. So that's what I'm, I'm following. The unborn baby will benefit in this way. I don't want the use of condom because I'm a man of God. But, yeah, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. It's, it's good that you've mentioned that issue. Because yes. uh, my, my producer was telling me that uh, you highly... Uh, campaign and very uh, you're very adamant about uh, you know the importance of a robust population yes uh, and the you know the, the the you know the stoppage of the use of condoms yes maybe just elaborate more for the Zambian people yes let what them you really mean completely. of course according to my strategy as you can see when I'm chronic like this God the Father the Son the Holy Spirit here it is 12 tribes of Israel you can count the, the word here it is 12 apostles of Jesus, meaning the New Testament, the Old Testament. I'm focusing on God's command, who has commanded me. Right now I don't eat even salt. I used to make a mistake. I'm following the command of God. Now, look, God said, thou shalt not kill. And mm. God said, go therefore and multiply and fill the world. He never said, thou shalt kill. The commandment says, thou shalt not kill. Now for you who are using condoms, when you use a condom, you are directly killing the infant in, uh, uh, inside the womb. Because a woman has got the living organ. A man has got a living organ. Now when you put that plastic, you are now throwing the living organ. That one you are throwing could be a king, could be a pastor, could be a, a president, could be a manager, or even a director. But you have thrown that outside, which is a case. If it is not a case in the court of law, Zambia, because it promotes killing people. They are busy killing people. And they are making that law of killing people. They are not even ashamed. Now, in heaven, but is, is the that, next is judgment, the population I don't strategy. want to be judged. I don't want to be part of those who will be thrown in the lake of fire. Because all such people who are making those laws will be thrown in the lake of fire because they are committing a crime against the spirit. So I'm not going to allow that in my government. No condom. Anyone found using a condom be arrested. That's why the, 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 the World Horse Organization will not qualify in Zambia. As soon as I'm set out, let them hear me. I will remove them out. Because what I see is a provision of killing people only. Yes. Even the gun has killed millions. The needle used by doctors have killed trillions of people in the whole entire world. So I don't want the World Health Organization in my government. That is my first move.
Because I want God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, to take control. My life and the life of Zambian are in the hands of God, not the hand of a condom, not the hand of a mask. It is God who gives us life. Mm. So let's see my, what I'm going to do as soon as I'm set up. So, yeah. in short, the use of condom will be no more. For the baby, how I'm going to do it? If a woman is pregnant, as soon as she is pregnant, that is a blessing from God. When you read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, you find that having a child is a blessing from God. Because some people, they, don't, they have got money, they have got resources, but they don't have children. Having no child is a case. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 14. If you are blessed with God, God will open your womb. You have more no children. But if you are cursed, you have no child. So I'm not a cursed man. I want people. As soon as a woman is pregnant, as soon as uh, she has said, then we, the mm. father and the, 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 the father of that child, including the mother, they'll go to a clinic. They'll be, uh, what they call, they call it, uh, you, you know, scanning eye. Yeah, of course. Then when they scan, but, but quickly, they'll uh, tell uh, them who is I, I, inside. I don't know. Then they send yeah. the name to my office. My office will send the name to the bank. The bank will prepare a credit card. That credit card will go to the mother yeah. or the father. Then they will use that credit card to buy or whatever the child needs in the womb. Yeah. That's my well, government. So that, that child is free. The reason why people are using condom maybe is because they are fearing to have more children. Hmm? Some they are fearing to do what? Which they go to the extent of killing their children, which is not good. Because they have no means. Some men, after impregnating a woman, they say, no, I'm not responsible. You know, they even refuse their own children. So in my government, no one refuses his or her own child. Because that child will be a blessing to him. Mm. Two million will be paid to that child per month until she dies or he dies. That's my goal. Well, another critical issue really that hinders on sustainable development is the issue of corruption. Now, the, you know, Transparency International Zambia has indicated that the corruption situation in Zambia is, keeps on getting worse, uh, you know, by the day. What are your strategies as Poor People's Party president in combating the scourge of corruption? Before I come to the schedule of progress, there's one question which I have not answered properly to you and to the listeners, the viewers there. This is a question you asked me about all oh, whatever I have said. And where do I get the money? Of course, of course. Um, may, I, before may I answer that question but, of but, corruption, but, but, let yes. me... Yeah, because uh, let I'm me... told I'm supposed to wrap up. Uh, a very important question that I was not supposed to ask. Yes. But I'm forced to ask. Yes. I said, look, you've been attending paid for programs. You've been paying a lot of money to attend these programs. You're now looking like you've been sponsored by the Patriotic Front. Is it true that the PF are sponsoring your media, uh, you know, campaigns? Is it true that the Patriotic Front will be sponsoring your campaigns ahead of the elections? Are you partnering up with the Patriotic Front or what? Thank you. I think that is the second question which I have not answered. I'll answer the, sec the two. But before I answer these two questions, let me answer the first question which I did not answer. Of course. The question of money. Where do I get the money to construct or what the facility that I've talked mm. about here? I have said that Zambia is a rich country, we have got copper. In my government, I will not allow foreigners to buy our copper. The reason why we are in problem is because of allowing the so-called investors to come and take our resources. In my government, I'm not going to allow them. They will no longer buy anything here. Instead, our Zambian government will have 75% in all the minerals. 25% will be given to outsiders who may wish to. I mean shares. That is my government. Then the copper will never be bought, sold. We shall use it here. We shall do every industry part of that copper, including printing of the money. Then we shall be selling the money outside the country. That's why my Bible in the Deuteronomy chapter 28 says that if you do according to what I'm saying you, you are not going to borrow, but instead you'll be lending. We shall be money lenders because we have got our sources. We have got copper. Two, I will use the infrastructure of the soil. Zambia, in terms of agriculture, 
good soil is number five the whole entire world. So I'll have crops in the animal husbandry, which I'll have bumper harvest every time. We shall now be selling out to other countries now. I'll use that. The, the, the current government are not using that strategy. That's why people are suffering. They are running one by one. They don't have money. And yet Zambia is a rich country. We have that. So that's what I'll do. Now, coming to the question of patriot... Uh, but who is sponsoring you? Uh, uh, coming to the uh, question of patriotic front, you are saying about patriotic front. Well, you are asking that uh, this, this, this man has now, uh, is now becoming a surrogate of the PF. Over a sudden, he's looking good. Over a sudden, he's paying radio stations, paying TV stations for him to appear. Where are you getting the money from, President Muliokela? Ah, uh, thank you so much. It is not good for me to simply say, Ah, uh, the patriotic front are funding me. If the patriotic front are funding me, it is well and good. The first thing for them to fund me is to remove the nomination fees, to allow the pres the, me to file properly. Number two, to allow my member of parliament to also be, be, to participate in the election. This is my challenge to PF, patriotic front. The only way I will salute the patriotic front that they are funding me is for them to remove because I need councillors, 2021, this 2021 election. I want councillors, the nomination fee should be removed. Because the nomination fee were not approved by the people during a referendum. There were no referendum that was held. And then there were no referendum that will be held. We have got only a few days. The evidence will fail to do that. The matter will be in the International Court of Justice. And I'm assuring you that all those who are who partake it, to that, we will pay the money they have squandered. I'm very sorry that will happen. That will be a proof to you and to the Zambian and to the world in particular that I'm not part and the, the parcel of PF. I'm not going to be part and the parcel of anything which is wrong. But if the PF happened to do something right, especially on behalf of my fellow poor people, then I'll salute to them. Then I'll be with them. I have been saying the same. Someone even asked me that, assume that President Rungu does everything you are talking about, gives money to the poor people in a proper poor money, what are you going to say? I will say I will design. I will no longer be a politician. If a PF can do that, then what is the role of me to, to stand as a president? That's your question on the, on, on, on the strategies that you have that one I to cannot, combat corruption. But uh, uh, when we come to corruption, Corruption. <laughs> I'm very sorry. That's why some people, and other people say, you know, Muriokela, you are always supporting Lungu, you say. Because I see a lot of people on the ground, including lawyers. They say patriotic flight is corrupt, whatever. You know, anyway, I don't blame people. Me, I always answer according to what, he, <coughs> to what I know. I'm a business and a law student of Holborn College. I know law. I'm also trained as trainer of trainer in conflict management. I can resolve any country that are fighting, the knowledge that I have. Mm -hmm. However, when we come to the word corruption, it is good for people to go to a dictionary and they find out the meaning of corruption. Corruption means two people, it involves two people. That's why even those people whom they usually take to court, they always lose their cases in the court. Because Corruption is about two people. If you and me, we agree, I give you money to favor me, then you accept that manner, then you favor me. For example, you go to a policeman. You give him money to favor you. Then he does that because mm. of that money. Then both parties, you who gave the money, and the one who received it, you are corrupt, they can be charged. They, no, they cannot charge one person, that policeman alone, no. Even the one who gave him money, is, he corrupted him. He's corrupt as well. That's yeah. why, yeah. even the election, election, uh, the election of Zambia, which we are coming to, that's what we call corruption. Because when you allow the patriotic front, the UPND, to use their own money on the ground, you have allowed corruption now. That is what we call corruption. When a leader gives somebody money, 
then that the one who receives the money, the one who gave that money, supposed to be arrested according to the code of conduct of the electoral code, which is our written. Of but course. they don't fulfill what is our written. Uh, uh, well, uh, due to interest of time. Problem, due to the interest of time. Let me ask you, move to another point. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> actually, we are done with the program. <laughs> due to the interest of time, uh, the program is done. Uh, President Muliokila, thank, thank you, you so much, much for having made time to appear on this very special edition of the assignment. Now, the time has been too small to me. You, you only pay, you, 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 my, my point. you only paid for an hour, unfortunately. <laughs> hour, <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, President Muliokila, and we, wash you, we wish you all the best ahead of the elections on the 12th of August. Uh, the people of Zambia have had, and the people of Zambia will make a decision on whom to place the vote on. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, so I've been speaking to uh, Poor People's Party President, Alex Mulioki, I've been discussing his vision for Zambia ahead of the elections on the 12th of August 2021. My name is Andrew Mwansa, on behalf of my producer and director, Sadlitz Nkonjari Mavudopiri. For now, good night, God bless Zambia, and God bless Africa. Good night.